let us make a big toast to the new contract we are working on this month. You are right, let's make a toast. Cheers to more contracts in the future. Cheers to more money in our bank account. That Paul guy thought he would come from nowhere to collect the juice we've been drinking in this office. He learned the hard way. He got what he deserved. Nobody messes with us around here. Now that he has gone for a while, we are going to head all the contracts from now onwards, and we will make so much money too, we will be able to fly to any country of our choice for vacation. You are right, I await his total termination from this office. When will that be? Maybe, before the end of his suspension. Are you sure? What if they call him back without termination? Have you thought about that? What do we do if that happens? No, that can't happen. I was only thinking out loud. We can't afford to lose to him again. Pastor Jude, good evening. Good evening Paul, how are you? You don't look happy at all, what's the matter? I don't know what's been happening to me lately at my workplace. It has been from one bad news to another bad news. I have received three different queries in a row this month. Today, I faced panel, made up of six different directors in our press table, and in the end of the meeting, I was given six months suspension. I'm so frustrated right now, I don't know what to do. From everything you told me here, your good heart and free spirit is what the enemy is using in your workplace to destroy you, they are taking advantage of your innocent mind. There is big fire on the mountain, you have to pray very seriously now, this is not ordinary, there is a spiritual attack on your finances, it is targeted on removing you from work. The enemy, the devil, is using this to attack your finances. I see conspiracy from people in your workplace as well. My workplace? How? People you call your close friends in the office, they are jealous of you, they are sending you arrow of bad luck, because they are jealous of you. I see some people making incantations on your office desk. You have to pray aggressively especially at midnight hour, because they are determined to take your place in that office by all means possible. Pastor, did you just say they are making incantations on my office desk? Yes, the ant hills, and soldier ants you have been seeing crawling all over only your desk in the office, is a pointer to the evil incantations made on that desk against you, something evil was sprinkled around your corner by those you eat and dine with, in the office. Even the food they offer you sometimes helps them to manipulate your spirit into doing things you ordinarily won't do before. They are determined to destroy you. You left yourself porous. That the enemy got you in a place you least expected. It is very important to remain prayerful and alert even in a working environment. Because some people you see in the workplace are agents of devil, looking for people to destroy their financial life and stability. No wonder. Now I understand what Mr. Jacob in our office was trying to tell me earlier today. This suspension given to you, I'm afraid, will eventually lead to your total termination from your work, if you don't start now to pray and ask for God's intervention. Oh no! Is that so? Yes, there is nothing that God cannot do, there is no situation. God cannot turn around, take this matter seriously, take it to God in prayers, confess any sin that will hinder your prayers, and try not to do them again, a broken and contrite heart, he will not despise. I have not been the best of what I should be, since I started hanging out with those friends of mine at the office. God sees our heart, all you need to do is, confess your sins before him and repent of them. I'm so ashamed of myself, all the things I did, because I was trying to please friends in my workplace. Thank you so much Pastor Jude, you really blessed my life today, I will be on my way. Bye. It's a pity. So many people have been destroyed by those they call their friends in the working environment. He is not the only one. Babe. Yes, darling. What is it? You look distanced. What troubles your heart? Please tell me. I want to ask you for forgiveness. I have done some things I'm not proud of, and I regret them all. Darling, forgive you for what exactly? What have you done that you are not proud of? You are confusing me the more. I had... You had what? I had... S... With a lady. You mean, you had something, with another woman? Yes. Please. Forgive me. When was this? 
And why did you do this to me? Patrick in the office made me do it. He introduced me to different women. I did it just to belong. Didn't want to look like a Jew guy. Jew guy, is that it? I'm sorry, I won't ever do it again. Anyways, for the love of God, I forgive you, who am I not to do so? If God can forgive me my own sins, why won't I do same for you? Are you seriously going to forgive me? Yes, of course. You still remain the best. I'm lucky to have someone like you in my life. So darling, you mean you went to see Pastor Jude and he said that some people in the office are conspiring to have you removed entirely from your work? Yes. He said I should pray seriously because they are still working tirelessly behind the scene to make sure I never return to work after this suspension. When are we starting this prayer? I don't know why you are not showing seriousness in this thing. Because I'm ready to start today today. Because nobody is going to carry my husband's chair or desk in the office. Anybody who says my husband will not drink water and drop cup in that office will know no sleep. All the days of his miserable life, whosoever it is, will suffer dearly. Amen, amen, amen. We are going to start this prayer this midnight. Okay. How have you been faring, Paul? Not bad. How is everyone at the office? Everyone is doing okay, too. That's good to hear. My regards to them all. Okay. Should I tell him what I have been hearing from the people in the office? Rose, any problem? Yes. I have been hearing rumors that the office management are trying to terminate your appointment immediately after you resume work. What? Is that true? This is serious. Well, I don't know how true it is. If you have anybody in top position in this country, it's time you call them to help you out. It's not something you can do on your own at this point. I don't have anyone. It's a pity. Sir, I have been meaning to ask you. What is it? It's about Mr. Paul, who went on suspension. What about him? What do you want to know? Will he resume working with us in this establishment? Or will the management terminate his appointment like it has been doing for other people who committed same offense in the past? It's most likely he will be asked to go after he has finished with the suspension. Okay, sir. That is all I wanted to know. I think it's a good decision. I will return to my desk. Yes! This is exactly what I want to hear. My mind is finally now at rest. Soon, that desk will become mine again. I can't wait to be sitting on it every day I come to work. My mind has been wandering up and down since Rose told me the things she's burned hearing at the office. God in heaven, I don't have anyone else to speak for me in that office except you. All the battles around me are weighing me down. God of victory, I know you will deliver me. Psalm 18, 17 we are reminded that he rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. This verse is a powerful reminder that no matter how strong our enemies may seem, God is always stronger. Psalm 23, 5 tells us that God prepares a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. This verse is a reminder that even in the midst of our struggles, God is with us and will provide for us. He will not abandon us in our time of need. These verses offer hope and comfort to those who are facing difficult times at the hands of their enemies. They remind us that God is always with us and that he will never leave us. Heavenly Father, I come to you this midnight, asking for your protection against the enemy's schemes. I know that our workplace can be a battleground with difficult co-workers, and we ask for your wisdom and guidance as we navigate the challenges of the day. Help me to be quick to listen and slow to speak, so that I may discern your will for me. Give me courage to stand firm in my convictions, and help me to be a light in the darkness. I pray for strength in the face of adversity and I ask that you would give me your peace. O oh God arise and defend your interest in my life in the name of Jesus. The weapon of the enemy fashioned against me and my family shall not prosper in the name of Jesus. Every tongue that attack me for evil, I condemn them in the name of Jesus. I command fully everything the enemy has stolen, killed or destroyed in my life to be restored totally in the name of Jesus. I bind every activities of the enemy in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. I command every enemy that rise up against me to be defeated and fly out of my life in the name of Jesus. I confess that my life and all that concerns me is built on the rock of ages and the gate of hell shall not prevail over me in the name of Jesus. Every work of the devil in my life be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I overcome every situation. 
I overcome my enemies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone conspiring against you in your office to destroy you and your destiny, they shall be destroyed. Any negative vow or incantations made on your behalf from the pit of hell around your office desk, by the power and the blood of Jesus, it is reversed and cancelled, I separate you from every unfriendly friend leaking your secrets to the kingdom of darkness, all those envious of you at work will die one by one, every Haman anywhere around you near and far that has bitterness against you, that conspire to implicate you or take your place at your workplace, they will hang themselves. Every negative words you have pronounced to yourself that has brought sorrow and calamity to your life, I speak to you that they are reversed, every power contending with the power of God in your life causing rising and falling, they are destroyed now and you will go places in the name of Jesus, victory is yours, freedom wickets you, no power of darkness will locate you as from now, whatever that the kingdom of darkness has done on your office desk, I nullify it all and I render it impotent in Jesus name. Evil folder opened against my husband in his workplace. Locate your owner I Jesus name, ants and ant hills after my husband's blessings and finances. Return to your owner in Jesus name. Every door of oppression opened against my husband at his workplace. Be destroyed, in the name of Jesus, O oh God arise, stand up for my husband's help and let the destructive plans of the enemies against my husband's works, be destroyed now, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Give my husband his duly possessions, promotions, position, place, and portion this season by fire, in the name of Jesus, congregation of satanic gossipers at my husband's workplace using their evil thought to stop him, scatter unto desolation, in the name of Jesus, those planning to make trouble with him in order to set him up at his workplace, you shall not succeed, so therefore, I command you to write for your sack in Jesus name, blood of Jesus, Protect my husband and his job, in the name of Jesus, any power using any of his boss or workers to attack him, your end has come, wither by fire, in the name of Jesus, I decree by the blood of Jesus, I reject evil report concerning my husband's job, in the name of Jesus. Good morning sir, Paul? Is this you? It's been a long time, how have you been, is it today you were meant to resume from suspension? Yes sir, okay, go to my secretary, she will give you a paper to sign. Okay sir. What paper do they want me to sign? Oh, my troubles are yet to finish. God, I'm depending on you for everything. Thank God the papers I was to sign wasn't for bad but for good. Oh my desk, it's been long, I have to pray before sitting on this chair, I have learned my lessons now. Heavenly Father, nullify every evil done against me on this desk and chair. Amen. Oh my. Who am I seeing like this? He's back. Oh no! Why does he look so relaxed in that chair? Didn't the management fire him immediately he steps his ugly feet here? I thought that is what one of the directors said. Maybe I should just go and talk to him as usual. Wow! Paul you back. I have missed you around here. How have you been? It hasn't been the same without you here. What about a hug? No need for that. I'm good as you can see, you never bothered to call me, not even for once since I left, but you still stand here to say you missed me. What type of friend are you? Forgive my bad behavior. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry, I will make it up to you my man. During lunch, we will go to our usual joint, Bill is on me. That won't be necessary. I'm no longer same person as before, I'm back to my normal self, won't be doing those things we used to do before, going on suspension made me reflect over my life. Are you serious? Yes, if you don't mind, I have work to do, you can return to your desk now, please excuse me. I have to hurry up to reach my office before it's 8 o'clock, I don't want to ever be late for work again. At least I still have like 30 minutes, and I'm almost close to the office. Who's calling? Patrick is calling me? By this time of the morning? Let me pick it up and find out why. Hello Patrick? What? I should come meet you up in that bar we used to go in the morning? Patrick? What part of I no longer do those things do you not understand? I'm sorry but I have work to do and I don't want to be late for it. See you in the office. Bye. K. 
Can you imagine this man? He wants me to come to drink this early morning? I have been very foolish these past time I followed him to be living a useless lifestyle, I'm glad I have been saved once again. Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing of this job, I commit this work day to you, I invite you, Jesus, to be with me throughout this day, may I perform each task I encounter to the best of my ability, help me be a person of integrity in all that I say and do, I speak a word of blessing upon myself as I use this desk and chair throughout today, as I sit down here to carry on with my ethical duties. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, I make it known in the quarters of the spirit that my allegiance is to Jesus Christ, I announce in satanic markets, that my soul is not for bargain, nor is it for negotiation, I am a sold out believer and a child of God, I repent of any sin that could have opened a demonic door in my life, which gave the enemy foothold into my destiny and assignment, may my life be fully aligned to the kingdom of God without reservation, Amen. Now I can sit and kick start my duty for today. Let me offer him some wine or food, they are his favorites, and he must collect them from me. Paul my friend, I have something special just for you, they are your favorite drink and food, try it out, you will enjoy it. No no, I'm working now, besides, I no longer like those, I'm not hungry, thank you. Are you sure? Since Paul came back to work, he hasn't been accepting things from me again, it has been from one excuse to another. What should we do? We go back to that woman to help us again, this time, it's going to be fight to finish, since he is proving stubborn. What? Count me out. We are in this together, no going back. Come in. Good morning, I came for the routine verification of our staffs. Okay, sit. So, how many are they? They are 18 of them, but two staffs here will be dropped. Two staffs? Why? What are their names? It's because they won't be continuing with us. Soon their appointment here will be terminated, so, no need of verification for them both. What are their names and can I have their files? It's Mr. Paul and Mr. Michael. Here are their folders. Let's see, Mr. Paul and Mr. Michael. Hmm. Paul's appointment should not be terminated. He should be the first to be verified and promoted afterwards for his recent dedication and commitment to service of the management. Paul's appointment should not be terminated, no. I'm sorry Mr. Dave, but I'm going to verify this particular staff here. Which one? And why? Mr. Paul. From the records you showed me here, he doesn't qualify for termination of appointment rather, his input scores are higher than everyone else's, I am verifying him and also giving him promotion, because he is due for it. Really? Are you sure about this? Yes I'm very sure. Hmm. He is right, Paul's input score is higher than everybody else in this batch, he deserves a promotion not a termination. Good morning sir. Patrick, how are you? I'm very well sir. Sir, I heard you went for our verification today, how was mine? Was I promoted? Promoted? No. You haven't been verified yet? Why? Who then did the management promote this time? Mr. Paul was the only one who got a promotion in this batch. Excuse me, I have to head to Director Procurement's office now. What? Promotion for Paul instead of termination. I can't believe my ears. I'm so angry right now, this can't be happening. How did this happen? Everything seems to be going south for me now. None of my plans are working these days. Take this, sprinkle it on his desk as before. Then I will do the rest. I'm happy now, I know what you are capable of doing. No one is around, thank goodness I came early to do this. Let me quickly sprinkle it before people will start to come. What? What? What is he up to? So this is true, oh my god. I better hide. Wow. So unbelievable. My eyes have seen my ears today. But what was that liquid he dropped on my table? I must pray and cancel whatever it is he did here. Jack. Thank goodness you're here, I'm in big trouble. I sprinkled the liquid as usual on his desk not long ago, 
only for me to return to my desk to find those anthills and soldier ants all over my chair and table. You too. That is why I was coming to you, I came to work only to find out my whole corner is covered with same soldier ants and ant hills. What should we do? My legs are on fire. Ah, 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 help me. Ah, 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 I feel fire on my legs too. Help us. Wonders shall never cease and, so this too were this evil? Hmm. Oh, I will confess, I will confess. Patrick. See what you have put me into? I shouldn't have followed you. I'm in pains. My whole body is itching me right now. Paul, my friend. Please forgive us. Oh. We are very sorry. Sorry for what exactly? I don't understand. We have been plotting for you to be sacked from this office since the day you got employed. Unbelievable. What did I do to you to deserve that? We felt you were a stumbling block to our success in this office. Galatians 6, 7-9 Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that, he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh, will of the flesh, reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit, will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Mr. Patrick, you have a letter from the management. Take it. What letter? Sack letter? Please, your people should not do this to me. We found out you've been involved in some dubious act with some contractors using our office name and the funds was traced to you. I'm sorry, there is nothing we can do for you from here. Our decision is final. 